While the clinic faced public protests when it opened its doors last October, tonight staff might feel they faced even greater opposition from Stormont's Justice Committee. They were there to provide evidence on how the organisation is currently complying with criminal law in relation to providing abortions here. Dawn Purvis defended the clinic's location in Great Victoria Street, which was criticised for being too convenient for women travelling from the Republic. The location of the the centre um, was something that was was paramount when I was looking at sites in Belfast um, because, yes, I was thinking of of clients from all over the (coughs) island. At times, the tone was aggressive, with clinicians often hiding their frustration. Nothing that has happened today (coughs) has done anything to improve public confidence in what's going on in your clinic because you've been so elusive throughout the entire hearing. As the grilling continued, it emerged that the charity has now found a way to work with the local regulators, the RQIA, but a majority of the members remained unconvinced. How, if there was a termination carried out in your clinic outside the law in Northern Ireland, how would RQIA be involved in controlling that situation? I, I, I think, that's, yeah, I, I, um, um, I think um, it's a valid question and I think it's one you should put to the RQIA. Your colleagues sitting beside you will know that I will pursue an issue until I get the comprehensive answer. The SDLP's Patsy McGlone also said he wasn't getting the clarity he wanted and invited the team to return when they had more time to consider their answers. The committee said they were unhappy with the paperwork provided by the clinic and their attempts to meet with the Department of Health.